my name is Adam Starbuck. Uh, I run the Maker Place here at Texas A&M for the College of Architecture. All right. Uh, when I got started here uh, two years ago, the makerspace was really nothing. It was it was uh, a bunch of tables and paper cutters, and uh, there was about five random 3D printers in a cage, in a locked cage, and uh, students did not have open access to it. Um, it was it was something I needed to change immediately. The the staff me would have to go open the cage and like do the thing for each printer. It was a different process for each printer. Um, and sometimes they would fail and they had no idea. There was no cameras on it, no networking. Uh, it was all just kind of random hodgepodge. Um, so the students had very limited access to about five printers, some super expensive printers that they could not use on their own. Um, so we decided that we needed to expand and we decided that this would be a good opportunity to expand. Um, some desktop level printers, these are printers that the students will go into the workforce and use at their job. So we are located in the College of Architecture, so we see a lot of architecture projects, um, a lot of mass models, a lot of building design, um, bridges, really intricate detailed things. So the students print um, these abstract models that they are probably going to print in the workforce as well. When their employer asks them to design a building and print it so the client can see it, they have already done that here for their classes. Uh, so it's good real world experience. Back when I had uh, five printers, uh, the students had to go to each printer and manually do each process for it to load the filament and prepare the print and do everything post-processing. Um, uh, and then we got the 15 Ultimaker 3s um, to start with. That's when we turned on 3D Printer OS and our workflow entirely changed from manually doing each printer and each process through different softwares to working on 3D Printer OS's cloud. And, uh, of course, you still have to manually load the printers with filament, but then you're in one software, you send the prints individually or in the groups now. Uh, so today we have about 30 printers. Um, that's a few, just a few more than our 15 that we started with. Um, we're hoping to see that grow even further. Uh, and luckily we have 3D Printer OS, so we can scale that very quickly. In the future, I'd like to see printers in every studio, every classroom. Um, and so we, we could have 100, 200 maybe. Um, so each classroom, each studio has their own set of printers. So fortunately for my goal of having a printer in every studio, uh, the professors are learning more and more that they can put uh, 3D printing in the curriculum uh, and additive manufacturing in particular. Um, so that'll, that'll kind of help where we want to be. Awesome.